All right, hi, welcome to this snippet. Uh, this snippet is for the specific identification method. And while we could use the rocks for this, I feel that the specific identification method is so easy that uh, you don't need the rocks. If you do, you want me to show you with the rocks, I'll be happy to do so. But pretty much the specific identification literally tells you, hey, you've sold this much out of this lot and this much out of this lot and this much out of this lot. Let's go ahead and just look at it. So. We're going to start off the same way as we do for our um, uh, inventories, the same we would with FIFO and LIFO. Okay, we have at the end of this, we have 20 units at $210 with these two lots. When we sell on October 15th, it will literally say you sold uh, nine from the beginning inventory and uh, we sold 12, so three from the second lot for a total of 12 rocks at 123. That's gonna leave you one for this lot and seven for this lot. Literally, that is what the specific identification method. It specifically identifies each piece of inventory you need to know what you've paid for. So let's go ahead and update these numbers. When we make our purchase on October 20th, we now have one lot, one from lot, the first lot, seven from the second lot, and we now have this third lot here, 10 at $13. So when we sell 15 lot units over here, um, let's actually move this down. And then, uh, so we're going to go here, it's gonna be 10, 11, 13. We're actually not gonna sell any out of 10, but I wanted to demonstrate that. We're gonna sell six out of this and nine out of this. Um, for 15 total, I know, guys, you're probably cringing the way I am, too. I'll get it pretty. Don't worry. There we go. Um, okay, so I'm just basically adding up all of these and these. So we sold 15 units for a total of $183. That's, and I did this on purpose, leaves us one for each one. Should have three at thirty-nine dollars for and uh, in any inventory, twenty-seven units at three hundred six dollars left over. And why are we off? Oh, it's because this is saying three at one. So let's instead change this. This is why you can't just make like a template for all of them because it things kind of change like this, and you got to make sure you're doing it right. So there we go. Uh, but these ones can be kind of a template. You can see how that. Uh, we'll match up and make sure that you're in inventory and everything works. So here's your cost of goods sold. You're sold again. Every time we sold 27 units and we sold 33, uh, or this time it's 306 for our cost of goods sold. And again, these are a period of steadily rising costs. Any inventory, we still have those three units, but this time it's one from each lot. So we have 34 units left or $34 worth of inventory left over. Um, you know, just for fun, if you don't mind, well, you know, I'll make this into another uh, separate snippet. But anyway, uh, that's the specific identification method. Uh, it should be pretty straightforward, but seriously, if you do have any questions on this, don't. it's okay if you don't uh, understand that fully. Just let me know. Um, but basically, it does tell you kind of where everything is and, and where what's sold where. So, all right, if you have any questions, let me know, and we'll see you guys in other videos.